I'm Jessica Aguirre. And I'm Tom Sinkovitz. It is a secret they keep. <laughs> Hoarders are known for compulsively filling their homes until there's no room to live. How a San Francisco woman knew when she had gone too far. And they can't get enough newspapers or food, even cats. Next, the mental disorder of hoarding. And why San Francisco doctors say it's more common than you think. It used to be something not many people knew about, and those who did know did not speak of it. But in just the last few years, the mental disorder known as hoarding has gotten more and more attention. There's even a weekly television show devoted to it. NBC Bay Area's Tracy Grant takes us to a class in San Francisco today to teach mental health professionals how to treat hoarders. In a way, it was a relief to find out that, yes, there was something wrong. Michelle will only say she's from San Francisco, but won't provide a last name, age, or much about her background. Yet she has finally learned to speak openly about what was once her biggest secret, compulsive hoarding. I have come such a long way and changed my behaviors drastically. Okay. And it, it's, it doesn't end. It's not a, you can't be cured. You have to deal with it every day. Because wherever you move to, that issue moves with you. This Discovery Channel documentary shows a dramatic example of what a hoarder can do to her home and her life. At this Mental Health Association of San Francisco seminar today, doctors said hoarders acquire a large number of items that appear to be useless or of limited value, but yet they can't discard them. These individuals have extremely strong emotional attachments to things, far more than any of us can really appreciate. Michelle says for her, it was paper. She held on to newspapers she kept meaning to read, mail and free brochures, and eventually it took over the house. And now I can put that also as a, a part of my skills, choreographer, because to navigate through this apartment yeah, that's a skill you need. Michelle wouldn't share pictures of her apartment, but she says it's not as bad as the ones you see on TV. But even so, hoarding turned her into a recluse, afraid to let friends into her life and judged constantly by relatives. I could go somewhere else. I could meet you anywhere else. But my house, no. My house is off limits. You're like the black sheep, or you're like the... Oh, the other sister that nobody talks about. But she says seminars like this one help. These mental health professionals are being trained how to treat people like her. And TV shows are teaching the world that compulsive hoarding is real and probably not as rare as many people think. In San Francisco, Tracy Grant, NBC Bay Area News. And a support group for compulsive hoarders meets in San Francisco every Wednesday.